Oh, yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three, assisting on hello. Okay, good. Alola, everybody. My name is Zafferman. This is episode four of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon walkthrough. This may be a cutscene. It is. And how is still having a fun time? Beach time, yeah! Excuse me. Hey, you! You've you you've come to Alola from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. Oh, let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. 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 Maybe I should do that. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Is this thing on? Hello. Okay, good. Alola, everybody, my name is Zephyrman, and this is episode 4 of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon walkthrough. On our last episode, we just went to school and battled four trainers, and now we're on our way to meet Alima and ask him if he, if, and ask him if, if I'm ready. He's gonna, I'm, <clears throat> <let's take it. clears throat> he's gonna ask me if I'm ready to take on the trial. I wonder what it's gonna be this time because it's gonna be, because. I bet the trial is going to be super different than the last time I've I've challenged his trial. With that stuff sitting down, let's get started. Hey, Afferman! I think I recognize the sound of those feet. How did you get over there? <sighs> so what did you think? Of how you just got ahead of me? No. How Oli is something, eh? Alola's gotta be the best place to ever live. Oh yeah! Hey Afterman, come in here with me. I've got a good idea of something you could do. What's that? Hey miss, is it true that you could get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, you've... You get the news fast. Hardly anyone has the Rotom desk. It is true that you get a special item to go with it. Ooh, a Poke Finder. We already know about that. <sighs> yeah, you just get an upgrade on your Poke Finder, and then you, and then you go talk to the guy, and he'll tell you how to use the uh, Poke Finder. Taking pictures of that Growlithe or Pikachu or whoever is there. <laughs> and then Lily shows up and asks how and asks us what's going on. And I'll tell him that Rotom has been upgraded and we take a picture already. That that fast without even noticing. And Lily does not <laughs> is not even gonna look good because she just showed a shocking face. While Hal and I just showed our smiles. That's gonna be written down in history books. Yeah, in crayon. See what I tell you? That man's gonna tell. That man's gonna tell me that I need to just go over here to uh, check out one of the places. All right, all right. Firing out the Poke Finder. There's the Pikachu. Easy. I think I should look. Wait, no, I don't really have to look down. As long as I'm looking on the screen, as long <clears throat> as long as I plug it up on the screen, then it'd be easier. Love it, love it. You got this. You got this. All right, let's see which one's better. Look at myself. I'm not being a very good host. Let's try this one. Yeah, wait, it is the best shot. Seven hundred sixty current thumbs up. I can break that record with these. Oh no no no! I'm closing the Poke Finder. Just seven hundred forty more to go. I guess that maybe maybe the Poke Finder could be of good use for some for some other um stuff. Yeah, I just need to upgrade it a little bit more. Well, what do you think? Did you enjoy the Poke Finder? It's kind of tricky when I'm looking away from my 2DS and looking on the computer, but yeah. Good to hear. You're free to use it whenever you find a chance. Ooh, and there's Lily. 
telling us that she is always going there and she and she's gonna tell me that the 990 that the nine uh, 99,999th customer has already been there. And she asked me how if my mom. Hmm? My, my. My, my, my. There is a sparkling stick or something good may happen if you remember this later on. Okay, okay, I'll remember. I guess I'll have to, um. Oh, never mind. There he is. Maybe he's going to tell me what those are. I mean, I just found it already. Greetings, Captain Illima here. So you spotted me some sticking up one of those lovely stickers, haven't have you? That's a sticker? What you did what now? Oh yes. If young tri trial goers collect these stickers as they travel and follow the path they indicate, they will quite naturally progress along their island challenge. Really, if I had to describe them, I would say those stickers are really safe trial goers like you. Do they now? <sighs> but I cannot let my guard down. Those team skull thugs have too far too uh, have far too much time on the on their hands and they're all, always trying to get in the way of trainers on their island challenge I have to keep an eye on them to be sure they do not take those stick my stickers your stickers you made them I've actually just had a report that team skull was seen making trouble around town I suppose I should have a look well then, young Afro-man, I hope you'll have a delightful time running about to search out and collect totem stickers. So can I collect them right now? You gently peeled off the totem sticker. You've got it. Got it, one. Now sit back down, you criminal! Oh, this, oh, this game doesn't make any sense! And as usual, how is right there? How's it, Afro-man? This place got good eats. Yep. What did I tell you? The Slurp Puff restaurant must mean there's cotton candy and sweets everywhere. Huh? Wasn't that based on the um, special demo version from Pokemon Sun and Moon? Oh, yeah, hang on. It should come up. Something like this. That's what it's based on, because you encounter um, those two. You encounter those two Team Skull grunts at the same place, and you use um, Greninja that has the ability Battle Bond. And after that, you can transfer it to Sun and Moon. I think I want to use that as part of my team. Now. Yo, you want to throw us a bone and hand over those island challenge ambulance to us now? Oh, so you, oh, so you're part of that team skull, huh? All you guys ever do is steal ton of stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way of other people's island challenges. Yeah, but Illume just ignores them back at the dock. And Sun and Moon. You know it, we hate the island challenge, yo. And every kid fool enough to try it. Yo, let's check these fools. Afferman, come on. Let's teach these Team Skull jerks not to get in the way of anybody's island challenge. Got it. Ooh, I should mention, I just caught a new Pokemon before I made a new video. And after I um, ended the, ep the last episode. Zorua. Zorua is part of my team now. Welcome aboard. Also, I turned off the experience share because I wanted to keep my Pokemon lower leveled. Yo, check out, check how I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills. Okay, this is our first battle against Team Skull. Let's do this. Oh. Excuse me. They still have their same um. 
positioning pose, but they don't have a signature pose. I sent out Grubbin. Last time I sent out my, uh, other pro Oh! <laughs> I can't believe how foolish I was. Oh well. Hm. Nice try, but unfortunately that's all for Zorua's ability. But enough of the gags. Pursuit! You lowered its defense. Now, all you do is just finish off with Scratch! Depends if you could hit it, that is. And you did. Defeated the Team Skull Grunt. For real? Over already? It's always funny how they start reacting while they're still moving around. No fair, I was playing a different game. <laughs> oh, he says the same thing, but in a different position. Those Team Skull jerks really must have too much of their on their hands, yeah? But keeping other po people from doing their island challenges isn't, isn't gonna just make it like they managed to, to finish theirs, you know? I already went down to the marie marina and screamed out over the ocean. Watch out, world! Someday I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat even my old gramps in an all-out serious battle. So maybe I'll go try to find some more totem stickers. Next, see you around. I guess they don't have their own pan out when, like after the um team skull battles over. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? Thanks, I appreciate it. I must admit, I've I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Prof Professor Kokui brought you along, and you and your Pokémon seemed to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Yes. By battling you. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Alima. Yes, that's in a different, but in a different place. He's also got a Z ring. And I know the Pokemon he has. Young Goose and Smeargle. He has to have Smeargle because, in my opinion, he really does look, he would, he would really look like an artist. That's what I thought. Because he's been hitting the books, he looks like he's one of those, um, students. Yeah. Too bad he didn't make his anime appearance. It would've been nice. Oh well. Oh well, you can't change the past or whatever. Maybe I should've, um, turned on the experience share. See, you lowered its defense. If that's the case, I'll go for grubbing. And grubbing will just use vice grip. What? Oh, come on. Oh, oh, I got an idea. Let's use rock rough. Yeah, it's a rock type. And may, uh, what the, hold on, I lower its defense, how is Tackle more powerful than Rockruff, to Rockruff? No time for, um, happy hour, I gotta finish off with one Fire Fang attack, but it wasn't enough, oh wait, that's it. Aha, that, that was the problem, Tackle, now, oop. Well, this is gonna take long, and I expected, like this one, like the last time in the last episode. You're right back where you started. You should have attacked me when you had the chance. When instead, you just use a potion, and you're out of options. 
Now the only Pokemon you're going to stand out is Smeargle. So, why not try it? Good, Zoro is a level 11. See? Who would be the best Pokemon to use? Poplio. I let Poplio learn, um, work up because it has, because, um, it has a special attack move and, and attack move. Just one physical attack, which is Pound. But it can learn Aqua Jet. Even though this Mirgo's stats are low, I shouldn't underestimate it at this kind of level. Yeah. <sighs> Water Gun. Looks like it's faster than Poplio. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If it's gonna use Leafage, they'll be over. It'll be over. All right. I'm going to switch to Relit. I think I lost to him before in the la in last year in my Sun and Moon walkthrough. I'm not going to lose to him again. Hmm. Using Ember. All right. You're going to use that? Might as well use Litten. Hopefully Litten's faster than you. Oh, huh, yeah. If you want to know how I got those stars, I'll never tell because I'm a stingy little gifter. <laughs> enough of the enough about that. I said that I said that last year. It's like I want to relive the moment when I said the exact same things. Good, Smeargle is defeated. Usually it was at level um 10. Now it's at level 11. Hmm. And all it took was defeating with all six of my Pokemon. Yes, you have emerged victorious. Yep, I did. Yes, I did. Hmm. You, or should I say, you and your Pokemon, make quite an interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial, the trial of Alima. You get, you can get there from Route 2. That Route Tom Dux of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Farewell to you as well. And I'll see you there. I said I couldn't get those out. I couldn't get through. I couldn't open those before talking to um, someone who knows about uh, Team Skull. Time to see what they are. But first, I just saw another totem sticker. That's three. All right. Okay, if it's okay, it wasn't gym leaders. I mean, it wasn't a gym. Alola Photoshop. Take a photo. It'll last longer. So this is what they were planning of. So this is what they were building the whole time. Alola Photo Club. <sighs> Coming soon. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. I really thought it was gonna be gems. But I guess I was wrong. Oh well. I mean, actually I really prefer I'm battling Isla Kahunas instead of gym leaders. It really does take a little too long. Alright, I got my Pokemon healed up. Now it's... Now that I got my Pokemon healed up, it's time to go to Route 2. But there's a checkpoint here. 
and it's telling me that Lily is waiting for me, <laughs> and I don't know how she uh, just appeared like that. Th I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people tell me that people always get lost and they try to look for me, and there is only one way they'll know where I am. The answer is right here, what I have right now, an afro. People will find me easily if I have this. That's why I don't want to get. That's why I don't want to get a haircut. Oh, I've never seen this place before. It's when you go right here. Route two. Usually, I thought you'd go up here for the trial. All right. Um, I was planning of passing. I was. I'm saying it. I was. I was planning of skipping the whole part where I battle the trainers until I uh, until I encounter the guy who owns the motel. And he wants me to go to the to the left instead of up north, where I always go. Because cra because that crap brawler won't let me pass. He wanted me to go to the left. And when I saw this guy, it must mean that there's something new that I've not experienced yet. And all my Pokemon still need um. To level up a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I had to look down to touch screen. Because I'm... let's check out this guy. Alola trial goer, have you never seen a surfer before? No, I haven't. I haven't seen. I've not seen the trainer class like you before. Ugh, the weird eye. It's like it's all the way down to the nose. But never mind. Oh, this could be a good sparring match for Grubbin. Using Vice Grip. That hits it because it's at full health. And Delibird's only move is, um. Excuse me. From. Delibird's move is, uh. Uh. Present. Sorry. Yeah, he hits it. Grubbin finishes up with Vice Grip. And we defeated the newest uh, trainer class, Surfer. Uh, Carlton. Hmm. I'll ride ways even if I'm not feeling it. That's what surfers do, after all. I think that being a surfer might be cool. I think I've always wanted to, I wanted to be a surfer myself. This is new. Big Wave Beach. You can Mantine surf at special surf spots. Enjoy surfing with, you guessed it, Mantine. Usually I thought it was pronounced Mantine. Okay, here we go. Hey, little cousin. Welcome to Big Wave Beach. You've come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine surf. Mantine surf is just what it says on the box. You climb up on the back of our Mantine, and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourself want to get on, get into Mantine surf, having to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Manti will be holding our breath until in anticipation till you do. Wait, wait. Do Manti breathe? Can I? Can they hold their breath? That was an odd question. I'm not sure. Ooh. Boss t over 12,000, Big G 11,000, Samson 10,000. I'll try to get 15,000 if I want to do it someday. But I still have to go to my trial. What? You better be ready for the mischief masters of Team Skull to do some manting surfing too. Oh no, it's Team Skull, they're here.
team. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't right here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves on even on Mantine's back. And then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we've got. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Oh no, they're gonna steal Mantine! Somebody please help keep those numbskulls away from Mantine! Oh, stop him! Oh, I'll turn on the experience share to be sure. I think I know the perfect Pokemon for this. Oh no, Grubbin can still. I need. I still need um, Grubbin to beat them. Oh yeah, experience share. Okay, here we go. What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh? Huh? Wait, huh? You're that kid. You want to scrap Tiny Brain, Tiny Terror Trainer, a battle yo? You might have beaten us in Holy City, but we'll put our heads together to beat you this time. Only well, I defeated you before, I can do it again. And that's something you might have said in the um, Verdant Cavern. Speaking of which, if they made if they made a comeback here, I wonder who's gonna. I wonder what's gonna be in the first trial I haven't seen I have not seen any playthroughs of what the Verdant Cavern trial looks like and I don't want to take a chances of watching their their videos let's see for myself usually I thought bite would finish that drowsy off but oh well let's use vice grip let's finish it off no, it's the same team skull that battled you and that ba that battles you in the um, verdant cavern. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. No. Excuse me. I'll uh, forget. Well, I I usually use mud slap for um. It's better than sand attack, but you can't hit flying types with them. Well, I'll I'll uh, forget mud slap. The accuracy won't work. I mean, decreasing the accuracy won't work. They can still hit me. Seriously, Home Slice? You're too strong for a kid, yo. Arg! I've gotta go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's let's go mess with Alime again, B. I'm done with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numbskull. Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to their terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer. Just like I, I expect from a trial goer on the island challenge, why don't you try to take this from me? Fresh water. It just heals up my Pokemon by 50 hit points. I bet you, I bet you could take on Captain Olime's trial with how well your hand you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hollow would probably say you're ready to take on, take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get you up on Mantine in no time. All right, now, time to, it's time to conclude this episode by meeting up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time to conclude this episode by meeting up with Unlima. And oh, and what's this? Oh, dang it, Verdant Cavern. It would. In the heart of this cave lies an item that has an unidentifiable connection to the Blinding One. I certainly would like to investigate this place. Shall we go in then? No. It seems that people are not allowed within this verdant cavern without specific reason. We should ask the president to arrange for the for some special accommodation accommodations on our behalf.
We don't yet have the means to capture Pokemon on our own after all. All right. Well, I guess. Hmm. Well, I guess I was okay. Now it's now it's time to go back to I mean, now it's time to go back to skipping and just going to the Verdant Cavern. Okay, here we are at the Verdant Cavern, and look who's up there, how as usual. How's it, Afro Man? Your Pokemon doing alright? Yeah, fine. Well, I know Poplio and the rest of my team have seen better days, that's for sure. Come on, Afro Man, let's stop by the Pokemon Center. PMC for short. Yeah, that's the abbreviation of Pokemon Center, PMC. You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You haven't even allowed- You aren't even allowed to go un un into it unless you're on your island challenge. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Afro Man, you lucky thing. Thank you. Revise is just what I need. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then a revive will perk them up right back up. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. You probably won't even find revives here. Did you know that Pokemon sometimes sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. Oh yeah, but if you... But you've got that Rotom Dex, right? If you tap it and play with it a lot, then you can use Rotoloto. Rotolato too, right? Really? I can do that? That's right! Give it give me a tap when my eyes flash. Give me a tap when your eyes flash. Alright. I'll then then I'll do it. Once his eyes flash, then I'll then that means i I want to play Rotoloto. I want to see how that looks. Ro Rotolato. Okay. Awesome! Do it, Afro Man, do it! Try ro Rotolato for me. Okay, let's try it out. I'm clicking on it right now. Okay. I didn't shake it. Oh, wait, I shake it. Oh, I stop it. That's an amazing power. Two Roto Boosts. What's that mean? Roto Boost is a powerful boost that stat that boosts the stats of your Pokemon. Wait, Roto Boost is a powerful that <laughs> is a power that boosts the stats of your Pokemon. Sweet. So I, so maybe maybe the maybe Rot Rotom Dex did get an upgrade only in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, and it's about to come. It's about to become pretty handy in, in future episodes. That's so cool! Rotolato can even make your po your team stronger. I wonder what kind of ro what kind of Rotom powers there are there are too. Oh, that's oh that's just oh this is gonna be sweet. Now that Rotom has a new upgrade, Rotolato, it might have some useful items that I might use. And I will, that will increase the stats of my Pokemon. I'm looking. I'll be looking forward to it. But enough of that. We have made it to the. Oh wait. There's one thing I wanted to do. Whenever I see this, I usually catch a. Oh, excuse me, Crab Brawler. I mean, Crab Brawler what is my favorite fighting type Pokemon. I wanted to train it. See. That that Pokemon is gonna be part of my team. You haven't seen it, but we're gonna catch it. Where did I put my Pokeball? Oh well. Oh yeah. Before I forget, I've been training my Pokeball. I've just been battling trainers, and I thought that I want to give Crab Brawler a shot. And since this is Ultra Moon. Maybe there's going to be lots of Radita and Radicate. It'll be perfect for um, Crab Brawler.
Ooh. Rock Smash will come in handy too. And it lowers his defense. There's a 50% chance that'll work. But enough of that. Astonish. Rah! <laughs> Rah! <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. But it's not. Oh well. Enough of that. Pokeball, go! Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot to put on my Z ring. Oh, man, it didn't work. Wait, I don't need it yet once I get the Z crystal. Huh. Looks like, um, Crab Brawler still has some power left. Time to weaken it a little bit more. That should do it right there. Too bad I don't have any Pokemon that has a stat move. I just, um, put Slowpoke back into PC. I mean, I, I left, um, Slowpoke into PC. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Crab Brawler. Get to the Z. Get to the Z. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Crab Brawler. Yeah. I'm gonna need your help. But I'm not just gonna use you for this first trial. Oops, I should have just sent something. Some other Pokemon. I know which one I'm gonna send. I'm gonna put it in a box. Got another Lepaberry. Another Lepaberry. And another Lepaberry. <laughs> yeah, when you see piles like this, you pick up five of them. When you see a small pack, you small pile, you get three. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna switch out um Zorua. Wow, a perfect nature, adamant nature, and an iron fist. Perfect. Perfect. Wait, I need Grubbin, because it has Bug Bite. I, uh, oh. oh, how did that, how did those two get here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, here we are. We're meeting up with Alima. Greetings, Captain Alima here. And my trial begins mere steps from here in Verdant's Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in uh, I wouldn't venture in unless you've prepared some potions and so forth, so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? No, not yet. Sorry. Please make your preparations. I'll be waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And you are going away from me because I'm, I just caught a new Pokemon. Crab is at level 10. And this concludes episode 4 of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon walkthrough. I'm gonna save right here. Well, I am gonna go somewhere like train um crab brawler and get it to level 12. So that way I'll be ready. Episode 5, the next episode would be me taking on the first trial of the Alola region in the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Until then, I will see you all later. Bye!